Lloyd, are you okay? Yeah, yeah, I think, I think it was my arm. Is, is it bad? Is it Whoa. bad? I don't want to look. A scale of 1 to 10, how bad is it? Oh, I'd say it's about a 7.5. Oh, okay. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah
um, is tailored for them. And, you know, I mean, is it painstaking? You know, no, it's not. But, you know, it just wasn't for me. Something else that I noticed about the film that I just didn't appreciate is the animation. The quality in the animation has dropped tremendously as well. While in the previous two films, while everything was flowing so seamless throughout the movie and showing so many graphics of Legos jumping here and there and building this and building that with action and Lego uh, lasers and you also had like the water that they used in the Lego movie that was that looked Lego too and it just looked real cool. I didn't feel any of those same effects with the Lego Ninjago movie. At times when they're going through scenes, not even high action, the animation was crap. I mean, it was real choppy at times, and you know, I was just really frustrated about that because it just wasn't flowing smoothly. Now, there is something that I do appreciate towards the beginning of the film, and that's how it started out because there was a brief scene of live action that st uh, that we started with at the very beginning of the movie, and I do like that touch. Um, you know, it, it, it had a really nice personal feel to it and you were somewhat able to attach yourself to the characters initially, but, uh, soon after the film got going, you did lose that character interaction, that character, uh, that connection that you had, um, with the characters and like all these ninjas, like, I don't know any of them. All I do, all I know is Lloyd. And that's probably the point of the film. They probably didn't want you to get to know all the other ninjas, but I don't remember the names. All I remember is Lloyd is the green ninja. We have a robotic ninja, a water ninja, a lightning ninja, an earth ninja, and a fire ninja. And, um, you know, the action, it just wasn't that great. Um, it was kind of uh, underwhelming, to be honest with you, because they are ninjas. I don't understand where the ninjas got all their, uh, their devices. They're flying resorts around the city, trying to save the city. You have one ninja that is a ninja, but he can't throw or he can't catch. That doesn't make sense to me. I mean, that's just like a basic motor skill. But for you to be a ninja, a master assassin, um, you know, you can't catch or you can't throw. That just doesn't make sense to me. I also didn't feel like any threat that was uh, uh, a worthy threat in this movie. Now, you could be saying to yourself, Brandon, this is a Lego movie. I mean, what do you expect? Well, they had a nice threat in this one right here and then uh, the, the Batman Lego movie. But there was nothing here. I mean, we have the get back good guys beating the bad guys. But instead of killing them or finishing them off, they were like, OK, do you promise to leave the city and not try to rule it over and overthrow it ever again? I'll let you go if you never come back. And it's like, no, eliminate them. So they were not killing innocent people and destroying buildings and civilizations and things like that. Um, but the whole movie isn't bad. I mean, I did laugh from time to time, um, but it still was just not remotely as um, not remotely close to being as funny as the Lego movie and the Lego um, Batman movie. But it was somewhat funny. The effects were bad. The action was just not there. Um, it was made for children. Um, I didn't care about the characters. I thought the plot was, uh, you know, just too silly for me just to take seriously. And, uh, you know, I, even with my expectations low, um, you know, I just did not have a good time. And, you know, if this if the Lego Ninjago movie would have came out first before the Lego movie, the Lego Batman movie, I would probably give it a much higher rating. But I can't do that now because uh, the Lego movie that set the bar and this one did not come remotely close to reaching it. If I had to rate the Lego Ninjago movie out of a one out of 10, I would give it a five out of 10. Yes, a five out of 10. But guys, that's just my opinion. What did you think about the Lego Ninjago movie? Have you seen it? Do you want to see it? Have I turned you on? Have I turned you off? Do you agree with me or do you disagree with me? Let me know in the comment section below. Let's get this conversation going and keep it flowing. And guys, I'm serious. This is just my opinion. I mean, if you're really excited for this movie, is this, if this is your most anticipated movie of the year, hey, go see it. You may love it just because I didn't like it doesn't mean that you will not like it because all things are subjective or all films are subjective, ex subjective, excuse me. If you like this video, go ahead and give me the thumbs up. And if you didn't like the video, that's perfectly fine. Just leave me a comment below why and still give me the thumbs up. Since you're watching this on YouTube, go ahead and subscribe to my YouTube channel. So become one of my subscribers, get all the content that I have to provide. You can also click the bell so you can be notified when I do make uploads. 
Um, you can also check me out on social media, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. It's all right there. And also, guys, go to my website. Check me out. Bookmark it. I do have written reviews. It's at the bottom of your screen right now. And I also made it very easy for you guys because I have a link to all that down in the description box down below. So, guys, I just want to thank you again for tuning in to my opinion slash review of the Lego Ninjago movie. And before you go, don't forget that my name is Brandon Keith Avery. And that's just my opinion. Peace.